A week after the Grand Prix roared through the streets of Long Beach, there was a race of another kind, the Solar Grand Prix. More than 200 students from 21 schools participated, and here's what it looked like. Well, what do you think? How's it going to go? Can we have some trash talking? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not sure we're that confident, but we're, I think last year we got to the semifinals, and I think we have a better design this year, so hopefully we get somewhere better than semifinals. Councilwoman, what do you hope to accomplish with the Solar Grand Prix? To educate people about the importance that this is an alternate source of energy and then also um, that there's a career here for young people. We've brought um, the, some of the training programs from the, the local unions to come in and talk to kids uh, about why they should consider this to be a career and they're getting quite a few visitors over there. This is three years old. When it started out, did you think it would still be going after three years? Well, absolutely. Yeah, after the first year, yes, because we had such a response from the schools who are very hungry for science projects, for community events to give the kids something really meaningful to do um, that we've actually had to turn away schools because um, all this is privately funded. I raise the money, uh, but these car kits we give to each team are $30 a piece, so it limits how many teams we can have. We hope to be able to raise more money next year and have more teams. What's unique about your team's car? Kurt, our team, recycled their car from trash that they found right here at the park. So not only is it recycled, but it's recycled from things that you would generally throw away. So you can see the bottle caps, the um, even a fish hook. We even found a fish hook to use in this. Well, that's the story from the Solar Grand Prix. The results will be available online Tuesday at this address. With online video producer Jesse Lopez, I'm Kurt A. Eichsted reporting almost live for Gazettes.com.